What's up guys and welcome back, I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle. And I, today I was looking through the scene workshop and I came across a map that is Minas Morgul and it looks amazing. And I mean, looking at this scene here with all the orcs marching on through uh, like the courtyard and going up onto this bridge, it reminds me of the movie, like Return of the King. And these guys, it's just, I mean guys, just look at this map, you need to see it. It is amazing. I'm playing it at night because you've got to see how glorious it looks at night. But I mean, it looks just like it's straight out of the movies. I can't even see the top of the tower. It won't allow me to. But I mean, it looks amazing. I mean, now look at all the orcs just marching over. Like it's ready for battle. They are ready for battle. Um, we are playing against... Oh god, where are they? Over there. Gondor is approaching. I am playing as Gondor against just the AI... Just to, because I just saw this map and I just quickly wanted to get this video out. I was like, wow, we need to show this off. It is going to be dark, so unfortunately you are not going to see the orcs very well. The brightness is up as high as it will go. Um, but it is still going to be a bit of a struggle to see the orcs. I do apologize just before we start. But uh, but yeah, I mean, this is an amazing custom map ba made by someone on the workshop. It looks just, well, amazing. It's still a work in progress, so it's a bit of a test. So I think it's... Um, well, as soon as I zoom in over here and stuff, I mean, it's it's lagging a little bit. I don't know if this has got something to do with the map or something, but I mean, this isn't too many men. Uh, my computer can usually deal with this, but I think it might have something to do with this map, but... Yeah, I mean, just look at the forest of spears. I mean, over there, I mean, it's nearly entirely correct. I mean, there's not like the the uh, weird, like, demon things at these uh, at the entrance here, and you've not got like a sheer... You sort of got a sheer mountain top, like it would be to yeah, this it would be this side with like Frodo and Sam are like going up, but it's pretty accurate. And I mean, uh, hats off to the developer of this; it looks amazing. Um, obviously, Minas Morgul is the lair of the Witch King of Angmar. I was going to add him into this, but uh, I just didn't really want to didn't want to risk it. I had already enough mods being used for this, so I just thought we'll, just, we'll go without him today. Um, but it used to be Minas Athel, the old Gondorian uh, map. I will put a well, old, old Gondorian map, old good, old Gondorian city. Trying to put old and Gondorian together there was quite hard for me, apparently. But I mean, you do need the uh, Rome to. Uh, I'll put all the links for like the mods that I used in the description. But I mean, you need like a Rome to sort of uh, style building. Um, thing to get like all of these sort of buildings, get this map, map to also just work. But anyway, while we're waiting on the orcs to march across uh, this causeway or bridge, um, I would just like to thank you all for all the support recently on the channel. Love all your support. Uh, keep it up, guys, as well. And uh, let's see if we can get to a thousand subs. I mean, we're nearly there. I mean, a thousand subs, I may make a Discord. You guys all like me up and try and organize the battles, or we may do a face reveal. I don't know. I've not quite decided. We one on the other, or maybe, maybe you'll get nothing. No, I'm joking. You'll get something. You'll get something. Um, but yes, as we're going in, it looks like the Axemen of Loznarch uh, or Warriors of Loznarch are going to be the first in against some Orc mercenaries. We have the uh, submod on, so there are some extra units for Mordor and for Gondor, and it's going to be super laggy. I have a feeling because of this map, but. Um, at least you can tell who the forces of evil and good are. I mean, you've got, like, the Dark Orcs, and then, like, you can see the men of Gondor because they've got their torches. I'm surprised the Orcs didn't bring any torches, but maybe they forgot. Maybe they forgot. Someone's getting sacked in the morning if they're not already dead. And it's been a, it's been a little while since, since we've seen Gondor. We've seen a lot of the fights of Gondor recently, but it's good and refreshing to see Gondor back. And Mordor, actually. I don't think we've seen Mordor in a little while. But, um, but yeah, if there's any other mods, mods that you want, any other mods, any other battles that you'd like me to try and reproduce uh, for Lord of the Rings, and please do let me know. I mean, I'm trying to see, is there any, I mean, we don't have the Fountain Guard here in a while. Good to see them on the battlefield. Citadel Guard, they look awesome as ever. Uh, and there's, what else is there? There's, I mean, it's just like Gondor Archers, Gondor Infantry, Gondor Spears. Uh, we've got the Coast Guard, uh, we've got the uh, Prince's Coast Guards back on the battlefield. God, it's a bit laggy when I just like zoom in here. Little bit laggy, zooming into all these infantry, trying to find it out. I think the general, I guess this could be representing the uh, Witch King of Angmar currently. We've got the, uh, 
I forgot what the Servants of Sauron are, are these guys are called. Servants of the Eye, that's it. Servants of the Eye. I'm still getting used to some of these new uh, unit names. I don't play this mod all well. My channel would say otherwise, but I don't play this mod often enough to le have learned all the names, and I'm also just a forgetful soul, so I forget things. But I mean, it looks like it's going to be a big old bridge battle at the moment. Um, well, there is a, a whole compilation of uh, Mordor troops trying to get out. I think they can get out here, but it's the AI, so it's dumb, so it won't. Um, it won't. Is that a head rolling? That was a head rolling, I think. Rolled all that way, but I mean... Look at this. Just the lightning going off. If I can goddamn oh god. Um god that is disgusting this is lag. I mean you can just see in the background there the green light of Midas Morgul. It looks amazing. It'd be even cooler if like at random points like the um the light just went up the uh, the tower, that'd be awesome. But yes, as you can see the archers we have Ethelian Rangers and Gondor archers just Shooting down into here. I'm sure they're getting plenty of kills just mercilessly killing these guys. We have Haradrim in here. We, I don't know why they're quite a minute more ghoul, but you know, maybe they were just uh, an exchange student or something like that. And they were just, they were here for the day and they were like, oh god, we've got to go out and fight. Gondor turned up. I guess this could be like as if like after the Black Gate has fallen and like, well, Black Gate has fallen and Sauron's lost, they decide to go after. Minister Field, that would be some sort of scenario for this, why this happened, but... Or it could just be an, a Gondor assault on uh, on the uh, city trying to recapture it. From uh, before Sauron's fallen. And died, and done all this horrible stuff. But it looks like we're sending in some uh, Gondor infantry to try and flank, getting some nice beheadings over here. There are some Morgul Legion in here, you can sort of see them here. Uh, again, I'll apologise for how light, dark it is. I mean, the lightning's actually kind of making it kind of atmospheric because you do get to see the orcs temporarily and then they go back into the dark. I mean, it's a lot lighter over here, so hopefully... Uh, I think I do move the uh, Gondor troops back to allow uh, there to be more flanking and stuff like that, and also just so these units spread out a bit, but... I also try to. I also kind of wanted them to fight in a minuscule goal, but I... If I defended, I would have just defended here and they'd never got in. Unless I let them in. And then you'd have had the same scenario, just fighting on a bridge. So, I mean, this map could possibly do with some uh, some alterations. Maybe make it a little bit more interesting. I don't know. I think it would be... I mean, it doesn't have a capture point currently. Um, but I presume the tower will be a capture point. Could possibly make it even larger. I mean... Uh, so you have more space to sort of maneuver in here make, if you want to make it a siege battle and also um, I don't know really else. There's not really else much you can do I mean, I guess you, if you want to make if you're gonna be a pet pet peeve like me and possibly you want the mountain range a bit further this way But that's not the end of the world. I, I mean, this is kind of nice as it is to be fair I'm quite impressed with what uh, the developers made What I'm not impressed by is what the flipping orcs are doing. What are these guys doing? They're just running into my swords and getting themselves killed. I mean, Axemen, uh, the Warriors of uh, Lozenarch, or the Axemen of Lozenarch, uh, are pretty damn awesome. They're not uh, stopping for anyone. I'm actually kind of impressed how they fight, how well they're doing. They've actually held quite a long time, but they are against Orcs, and the Orc infantry's not that great. They just need a lot of it. And I think they did originally outnumber us. Let's have a look. Yeah, I mean, they still do technically. They outnumber us by about 1,300, uh, about that. And so they should be able to overwhelm us. And uh, they are sending in their entire force while well, I'm only sending in bit by bit, trying to make it even more of a, a challenge. But even still, I mean, it's still looking not great for the Orcs. But that's what happens when you come out and charge. Uh, when you have your own defences. I was ready to assault. I have my own trebuchet, which can't move, which I didn't realise, so it's stuck all the way back there. I think it does fire at one point, but I don't know. that. You'll see when that happens. There'll be a big fiery ball of death if it does fire. But we'll see. It may, it may fire, it may not.
but it looks glorious. I mean, look at these boys. They're ready to fight. Gondor Spearman. Something about the Gondor Spearman is just very satisfying. They're the basic troop, and you see them most often in the uh, in the films. Obviously, the Gondor Swords as well. You see them just as much, but I mean, Gondor Spears. I mean, their spears just look awesome, to be fair. It's also just awesome. I mean, I don't know about for you guys, but for me, just seeing like all the axes in the background like silhouetted. I know, like I said, you can't really see a lot that's going on. You can see where the battle line kind of is. If I like zoom out, you can see like the battle line. Good. If you follow my like mouse, the good is there. Evil is back that way and still in. The Actually, no, he's come out of the fortress. The, the general is out of the fortress, and this is where I start to pull back. I start to pull back. Allow them Mordor to come out a bit more. Um, I don't really like zooming in at the moment because it's so laggy. But I mean, they are pretty beat up as some of these units. Like Mordor is, we've got a lot of units that are low on just troops and also morale. I mean, one of my units is breaking here, Warriors of Loznarch, but I think they rally just in time. It's just pulling everything back. I mean, I'm going to lose a lot of men doing this, but it's worth it just for you guys to see everything a little bit better. And slowly and gradually we bring everything back. The final infantry, final spear infantry uh, holding the line, letting everyone else go back. That's very good rearguard action there. And there we go. Already it's a lot better. Not so much lag. That was a brave orc there trying to fight, out, fight that out on his own. But here we go. A little bit better. You can sort of see the orcs a bit better. But I feel like you had to play this at night. If you played this in day, you just don't get the same effect. And I mean, I hope more mods like, uh, more, uh, well, yeah, more supports like this are made with awesome custom maps. I fully encourage it. I mean, I'd love to see, like, a, um, maybe, like, some Second Age sort of maps. It'd be quite good. Like, something like Gondolin would be quite cool. I know, like, there is a Second Age mod coming out, but that's a lot further back in uh, production compared to this. It would be quite cool to see the Elven City of Gondolin, or just other Elven cities like Rivendell. We've not even got one for Rivendell or Lothlorien. would be quite good. Osgiliath would be actually a good map. If we could have Osgiliath, that would be, we could have some awesome battles in that. So, I mean, if you're handy with a mod making, uh, like map making, or just like you're one of the developers of the mod, if they're watching, which I find it unlikely, uh, then Osgiliath, that would be my top one. If you could make a map for Osgiliath, I would uh, be forever indebted to you. I would love you forever. I play your mod every day, just for Osgiliath, until I get sick of it. But, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, Gondor infantry is so superior to Orcs. I mean, there's nothing like, some cool, like, Berserker sort of unit for uh, the orcs would be kind of cool. Like, I'm pretty sure there are some like cults of like Melkor. That are, like, you can they're like the units for them. They'd be kind of cool. Like, they fight to the death. They're pretty hard. They just need some really tough units. Also, just like the ring wraiths in this would be pretty handy. Like as a general unit. I know you've got like uh, the general over here who I think is about to get cornered and killed. I'm not really sure what's happening there, but uh, that would be kind of cool if you could. You can do that. What? How's the situation? Oh, there's a lot of breaking going on. The orcs are not in a good place right now. I don't, and we have some fountain guard appearing. I still got so much infantry back here that's not even fired. I'm not even sure if uh, the uh, catapult's fired. I think it's trying to fire. Yeah, it's obstructed currently. Enemy general is dead. And there you go. The enemy general's died. He's been chased off by some Gondor sword infantry. I mean. Not really sure what what's the orcs are hoping to achieve really here. It's a foolish errand, but you're not necessarily going to get into the city. You can imagine like they sent out just a horde to try and weaken the uh, orcs, but they could be just defeating the orcs, defeating Gondor, defeating the men of Gondor. But then they could have hordes more in there that they've been producing for years. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on that trebuchet because I have a feeling it might fire. Well, of course I know if it fires, because I've already played this battle, and you're just watching the replay, but... Who knows? Keeping an eye. 
I mean, there's a lot of dead orcs and not many dead Gondorians. I can't see many. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Where's that going to land? Where's that going to land? Oh, God, the lag. Oh, it's hit its own. We've hit our own fountain guard. Um, so, yeah, the trebuchet, I mean, even though we hit our own fountain guard, the orcs, like, good God, they'd, they'd actually hit their own men uh, in an attempt to win this battle. I'm, it's not worth fighting. It's not worth fighting. They're too fanatical. But, I mean, yeah, the uh, trebuchet's, like, range came to, like, here, and I was like, I think we could get a good hit. There's plenty of orcs in there, and then all the orcs broke and ran away, and, uh, yeah, it just hit the fountain guard instead. I think it, it also... And there was another shot about here that nearly killed some Coast Guard. But, uh, but yeah, that, that, that just, just didn't do anything. I mean, there's just so many men in here now. I'm sorry there's not been many close-ups, but, I mean, the pain that I'm going through just to, like, zoom in here. I think this map needs still needs a little bit of work on it, but it's getting there. It looks amazing. I mean, just possibly running. I don't know whether these... it's large armies or something like that um, just on this map currently just kind of kills it or I don't know I've, but I've played with this amount of men on just like any other battlefield and it's been fine before so this is pretty bizarre but I can't get over how beautiful this is and uh, there's been a lot of Lord of Rings on the channel at the moment apologise if you're not into that but I've got to play what I'm loving at the moment, and I'm lo very much into my Lord of the Rings and Rise of Mordor. And there we go, the infantry are charging forward for one last push. There's still a small garrison here of, uh, what is this? What are you, is this uh, or Uruk Spears and some Uruk Throng? And there you go, they just break just like that. And there's a huge chain route, and victory is ours, and well, there you go. That is the uh, Siege of Minas Morgul. There is a lot of dead orcs down there. I'm not going to zoom in, but you can kind of see from this angle. There is a lot of dead orcs. I mean, I don't think... How many men did we lose in the end? Not many. About 300. A decisive victory indeed. It was about 300 men. 366. And I don't even think we killed them all. Um, really. I mean, that's a shame. You can't tell you who, who got killed. Just individually, but overall. I'm not doing the math. But um, as you see, the trebuchet getting no kills apart from it should be on minus kills because it killed some uh, fountain guard. Um, but I mean, 428, 484. Wow, these warriors of Loznarch doing the job today. That is insane. So that's 507. I did not see that. Wow, the Prince Coast Guards actually turned up. They're no good against Port Guard. If you've not watched that battle, I recommend you go and do. Um, they were useless against them. But um, they're pretty damn good against orcs. I mean, anyone's pretty good against orcs. The orcs need some uh, some beasts of war to help them out, really. Um, but and then Gondor Sword infantry doing pretty solid. One getting 325, uh, another one getting nearly 200. Um, pretty solid. And the archers actually not doing so well. They did a lot of suppressing fire, but they actually didn't get many kills, um, which is pretty, uh, which is fair enough. And then some of these knights of the white tree got involved right at the end and managed to get a couple of kills. And the Gondor Spear is getting 235, not too bad either. I'm not sure how my general got two kills. I didn't think I sent him in, but apparently I did. <laughs> um, Servants of the Eye doing best for them, because that is probably the most elite unit. Um, nothing else really speakable about for the Orcs. They are unspeakable anyway. They're despicable. Who cares about Orcs? Orcs' lives don't matter anyway. Um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And leave a comment if there's any other Lord of the Rings scenarios that you want me to try and replicate or just reproduce. And if there's any, uh, like I said, if there's anyone that could make uh, a map of Osgiliath, I'd love to see that. Um, but anyway, guys, until next time, bye for now.